Hey everybody, it's DC here, and welcome to another episode of Evil Space. Uh, just doing a little bit of work here in the main storage area, just trying to figure out what I can do with it. I thought I'd check out the, the wood texture. It's, it's not too bad. I'd, sides could be a little bit better, but the front's not too bad for the stairs. It's, it's pretty good. It'd be nice if you could actually rotate the texture. I was trying to rotate the block, but you can't actually rotate those, so the texture is always the same. So I'm guessing it's just like... Uh, an overlay of some sort. I don't know. But I went with the lights here. Thought I'd try something. Uh, it's not overly bright, so that's pretty good. Uh, there's a few things I wanted to actually work on today. Uh, actually, there's a few things we really need to do. Uh, one of the one things I want to do is finish up this whole storage system setup. And uh, for one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this box because that's actually not going to work. And we're going to get rid of this guy too because that arm's not going to be able to keep up. Uh, I've decided what I'm going to do, if I have any stone stairs, I will in a second here. Uh, I'm basically going to drop everything into this box here. And, oh, there they are. And the reason why I'm doing that is just because down below, uh, I'm going to be reworking these arms. I've been thinking about what I'm going to do. Now, if I look at my inventory... Oh, can't lose that. That's very expensive. Yeah, I'm sure a few of you are laughing right now. Uh, but anyways, so what I want to do is I want to be able to go out on a mining run, take up everything, everything like granite, the basalt, the limestone, clay, coal, ores, and all that stuff, and just dump everything in a box and I don't have to worry about it. So, you know, the ores will go to the respective smelter uh, processing lines. Uh, there's a few other things that we'll be picking up. There'll be basalt. Basalt's obviously going to go upstairs to go towards the stainless steel. Limestone is going to go to the concrete department. Uh, sand. Uh, I was originally thinking of smelting into glass, but we will. I will actually have a use for that sometime down the road. For like, uh, uh, I don't know if we're going to need the silicon at some point in time. It's in the game for a reason, but this can be reworked into iron, that could be reworked into aluminum. Uh, for the time being, it's going to go on into a, a shelf, just because, you never know. I don't really need the glass panes and the lenses. How many filtering arms am I really going to use? That's the only thing you actually need it for. You can smelt it into glass, smelt it into blocks, uh, make it into glass, or filtering robots. And that's the only thing that's... that's that only thing we need them for. I don't think you can actually place them in the world or anything like that. Uh, so that's sand. Uh, then we have dirt. Dirt's basically just organics. We can make methane for it eventually, but it's not like I'm going to be mining dirt. It's just stuff that I happen to pick up and uh, whatnot. And there's redstone, dark, dark stone. Uh, those three are basically going to go in their own racks. Originally, the granite was going to go in the own rack, its own rack. But we will, I, I will actually need this down the road. Now, when I first did this, it's like, okay, so you can grind down into dust. Okay, well, you have to grind down to dust. So, well, there's tungsten oxide dust. And I didn't actually realize that at first that that was the hard metal. But uh, if we go to the stone dust, the stone dust, we actually go through uh, industrial separator to get the potassium we need for the, uh, the not coolant. So that's something we'll have to do anyways. So instead of me actually having stone going through a, a macerator just to get this, I can use the granite that we're going to be picking up and that'll just contribute to the cause. And then we got the tungsten which uh, goes with hydrogen fluid which we're going to need the methane for which we're going to need biomass for and fun stuff goes into tungsten, tungsten with the NAC fluid and the industrial smelter goes into, creates hot tungsten ingot with carbon dust and a chemical reactor it gets tungsten carbide ingots uh, then you macerate that and then tungsten carbide dust or the cobalt dust gets hard metal yeah anyway and then we got uh, clay organics coal same thing probably just gonna all go into a rack uh, there's gonna be a bulk storage area over in the back here so this is the, the back wall here and I'm thinking about just going out and having maybe four racks on each side have them all come through with conveyors now as far as 
the box. The box is going to stay the same size. The robots are going to change. Right now, I have them all. I have them all in independent individual ores, right? Iron, copper, aluminum. So what's going to happen is one robot is going to be doing the ores, and it's going to be going into one conveyor, and that's going to go down here to where the area to where it actually goes up towards the machines and then at the end there's going to be three robots that are, have their own filters so they can go with their each and own direction so i'm basically sort of branching it off and then i'm gonna have another one doing the the, the the basalt the limestone and the sand uh these two the limestone is going to be going in this general direction here somewhere and basalt's going up to the second floor and sand will probably go over there for now if I can need it. I can always pipe it back out and send it somewhere else. Uh, then these three are going to be in their own racks. The granite, I'm going to start processing right away. So that's going to go through a macerator and that's going to go through industrial separator. And then for the time being, I will have these in their own racks. Because we're not, not even at titanium yet. I don't even be thinking about hard metal. And yeah, and then these three go on those three go in their own so uh, let me get a few more things made and I'll be right back oh yeah another thing too uh, I, I stopped production of the plates the parts for now I got everything going straight into stainless steel uh, I'll just take run upstairs quickly and show you what else I did also we're uh, full on chlorine so we'll have to deal with start using that pretty soon uh, added a third uh, arc furnace so they're basically working all together to try to keep up with this and this is working out so or doing okay so uh, what I was going to do and I'm going to do because the basalt we got tons of basalt here we're going to start going more so I was actually going to put down another industrial separator so I do have one here. Uh, no, that's the wrong one. It'd be nice if uh, you know there was some sort of difference on them. Oh, that's not what I'm doing here. R, yes. Okay, and so what I was thinking about doing. Yeah, because uh, actually no, I can do it this way. Can I? Hang on. Oh yeah, we need power there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just thinking about the robot, the arm taking it out because I only want to use one macerator. So I think I'll do that. Uh, what do I have for conveyors? I do have conveyors. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be using an arm to take take it out of the macerator, put it in here, and then I'm going to put have an arm put it into the stacker. Nope, oh, that's the wrong way. Oh, I do have my screwdriver. What do you know? I actually like this thing. It's really handy. Oh, and uh, no, 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 that's not going to work. As I need... I need a few more of those by the looks of it. Whatever. Can I ne can ne never have enough robot arms. Okay. I'll just do, So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have this guy going back in there. And then another one coming out of the macerator into here. As soon as they're crafted. Like so, I need another motor. Uh, make an old aluminum one if I can. I can. That'll take you that. Yeah, so that's basically what's going to happen. So then we'll be doubling up on this. We'll get more chrome. Uh, since it's going through a stacker, and you can clearly see these guys are not that busy. I think they can handle it, another separator. So that's going to be going on. There's a few other things I want to do. So uh, I'll be back when we're ready. Okay, I'm back. I uh, expand this a little bit. Put some holes in for where the, the bulk storage is going to be. Uh, I don't mind putting this stuff in racks. Because if you happen to take all of it out. Well, this stuff stacks in 1,000. And the rack only had old 6,000. So what, six, six stacks? And st sorry. Instead of having a full inventory of 32s, and try to take one stack. Uh, that's my th my reasoning, anyways. Okay, so I was thinking about this, and I think this is going to be the, the junction point right here. So I'm going to take that one out, and 
gonna actually place it gonna place it right here okay and let's see here we got out on yellow it's gonna be in on green actually no it's not I gotta get the robot in there first actually no it's gonna be an input on green out on yellow create the root and it's gonna be out on yellow yeah if I create the root it'll feed it but it just doesn't leave the conveyor in place and that's actually uh, good thinking on that one okay so um, be the next one's gonna go here that's the right spot yeah and then what I'll do is I will place one right here so it's gonna be the main junction is gonna be here uh, I can actually Turn that off, remove that root. Yeah, and then I can place another another junction here. Like so, and then this one will be the root will be in red, out yellow, and it'll be going out yellow, like so. And then I'll be doing the same thing here, and then there's gonna be basically arms. Uh, it's the basement, I don't care how ugly it looks down here. Um, mind you, my base is no better, but that's besides the point. As long as everything's functioning, that's all that matters. So then, yeah, basically what I'm doing is uh, hitting the right button, rotating that way, and rotate that way, and rotate that way. And those are the wrong ones. I got to ask filtering ones here. But you get the idea. So let me get this one set up, and I'll, I'll return. Okay, I got it all done. And I'm just making sure I'm actually recording. Uh, I've had a bit of a boo-boo just recently in this one. Uh, so yeah, I got uh, this one set up to do the aluminum, co uh, copper, and iron. Uh, it's going to go down here. And I got these three separated, uh, going to their respective lines. So next, we're going to start working on uh, these three. Uh, the sand, like I said, we're going to set up its own storage. I do have an area already set up for them. I uh, had to move things up around a little bit just because the way I'm going to be feeding into the shelves. Uh, I'm using, like I said, I'm using the shelves because I don't have to worry about them actually taking out a, actually completely filling my inventory. But anyways, uh, I'm going to be using the junctions just to go straight into them. So we're going to go place them like that, and then on the front, I'm going to be having uh, the LED display. Oh, yes, I was crafting. That's why I don't have inventory space. I was crafting bricks. Why it doesn't auto stack, I do not know. Yeah, I had to go uh, mine a little bit of stone. Uh, something I want to do is try to get a bit of a... Sort of a stone factory. Actually, I, that was something I was going to do. Was have this stone go into its own respective thing. Uh, let me uh, bring this up. But basically, you take the, take the stone that we mine, you run it through a hammer to make the plates. You take the stone plates, you run it through a macerator, you put the you get stone dust, you run it through a aluminum press, or through a press, and you get stone blocks. Now, this is actually uh, that one right there. I almost want to use it as a building tile, or as a building block. Because you can use this. Or, that's not it, but I mean... Uh, you can use that, but that's what you get, right? You don't get this. I'm going to leave that there just for abstract purposes. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, did I put the other sh racks down? No, I did not. Uh, I got plastic bag syndrome. Had something shiny. had to show it off. Okay. Now, I haven't decided what's going to be what yet. So, let's go down and figure it out. I'm already starting to get a little bit of lag around here, but uh, we should be seeing a new version soon, which could be introducing a lot of optimization. Okay, so I've already figured out the limestone's got to go up in here. I got the, the rack right there. I was actually going to go up there and we're gonna switch that out with the stainless steel one. I almost floated there for a little bit. Oh yeah, it's limestone. I think I can afford the space. 
Okay, we'll take that out. We will place it a little stainless steel one back. And we have the junction on this side, so we're going to at least get to it. And I'm going to manage my inventory a little bit better. Again, why things don't automatically stack, I have no idea. But then, yeah, so we'll go junction here. We're going to have to place a block here and then a junction there. And guess what? I gotta put another hole in the floor. So I can do this. Okay, so that's gonna be the limestone. And I already have an area set up for the, the basalt. Yeah. And I'm thinking the basalt is just gonna go straight up the back here. Let's go have a look, see what, what we get. Oh, that's not a jetpack. That's a jetpack. Or a super boost. Now, I do have to watch out that it doesn't connect to this. Not that... Actually, it would go in there. Never mind. Not unless I... I lock it, but... Whatever. So, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have an arm here. So, I'm going to have to double up on the junctions. So, I was going to put one here and there. So, that means... We're going to go straight up there. Alright, and... Where is this going to end up? You know what, I'll place it right there. Can I reach it? No, I can't. Oh yeah, it's not like Minecraft where I could uh, use a jetpack and place a block at the same time. That don't work that way. Well, if you're fast enough, you could. Good enough air time, you could. So it's gonna be like that, that, and that. Okay, that's basalt. And all this is going to be coming off of this side here. Just because it's all going to that end. And then... Yeah, and then those three. So we're going to have to have the junction here and another junction there. And... Gotta love early access. I'm sorry, I was playing with my playing with my arm there. And little dangly bits flying around. Okay, like so. So this one is gonna be doing uh, what are you doing? You're doing basalt, limestone, and Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have to double this up, I think. Actually, this might actually work. Let's let's get ingenious here. So this one is just gonna be set up for sand. This one is gonna be set up for uh, those three, and this one is gonna be set up for the basalt and the limestone. So this is basically going to be like a distribution hub. Of course, I do have to sell the roots for these. So again, we're going to be going back to junctions. Uh, this one's going to be going down this way. And I'm going to do something. Because uh, someone mentioned that you can actually not only snap these, but I realized too that these actually show you how far the, the conveyors will actually go. Unfortunately, you have to turn them on independently. So it's a little time consuming, but anyways, I'm going to get this one set up and get the, the basalt set up and, and get the sand going to a, uh, its own rack and I'll be right back. Okay, I got it all set up. So basically I have everything but one shelf set up. Uh, I don't have any displays on them right now, but what was it? Uh, I think it was clay, coal, and then organics. Then on this side we got the sand, sand, dirt, redstone, and then dark stone. And that's how it's good, all set up. So everything should be configured downstairs. I'll show you the nice little network. No. I was like, I, <laughs> I didn't move, I thought the game froze and I forgot I had a wall here. Uh, yeah, so anyway, so uh, our main hub here, this is going to be our ores. That's all set up. 
this side is going to be the sand, limestone, and basalt. Sand goes down that route. Limestone and basalt goes that way. Uh, everything's all set up. This should be already set up to the limestone, I think. Yeah, I got a conveyor, so I should have it set up. And then we go down here, and then uh, this side is, like I said, the clay, organics, and coal. And then I just went with this this little setup, and it seems to work. Basically, a main another main hub here, and then each arm's got their own little thing, pulls it out and goes there, and so on and so forth. And the same on this side for the dark stone, dirt, and redstone. And then here, this guy here is going to be pulling out the granite. So, I think what I'm going to do is replace that there. I'm just going to leave the whole s s granite processing down here. And then we can always funnel it up to wherever we need to. Okay, that work. And then we're just going to stick a, a rack in here. So it goes... Uh, sure, whatever. It goes straight there, and I realize now i got to make another macerator, but I should have enough on me. Okay, so this is going to be coming in blue, going out white. I know I don't have to actually set this, but I do anyways, just because. And then this is going to be in blue and out pink. I don't know why it wasn't automatically outputting. It usually does. So blue, pink, set. All right, now... Uh, do I have enough arms? Oh my god, I used so many of them. Now go another five. That should work. Okay. So, uh, yeah, one arm like that. And then we're gonna get another industrial separator. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to look at power situation pretty quick here. That's kind of why I ramped up the stainless steel production. All right, then from here, uh, the motor's on this side, so we'll put the rocks on this side then. And then from here, I'm just going to have two filtering arms taking, taking it out. The only thing this thing will be processing is the granite. And I made a big boo-boo. Yes, I did. Missing something. I am missing a macerator. Go ahead and make that, and I think i got to make another... Another... Um, I know I have to make another motor for it. Because that one's for the industrial separator. So let's go ahead and make another motor. Which I'm missing copper for. But I can do that afterwards. And now I gotta reali I realize I have to move that uh, shelf again. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Actually, no, 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 I don't need an arm here. Because it's just that I could just feed right into here. And then from here, I just have the two arms taken out. Alright, so. One there, one there. Uh, actually, first, I gotta process. Now uh, we gotta process, process some of it first. So let me get some motors hooked up. Get some stuff. separated yeah late night and uh i'll bring you back when it's time to give the system a good test run you know i was actually gonna run upstairs to go and grab it, the supplies i needed but when you have a full storage system you usually can find what you need in the boxes right here if it's full anyway that's why i came down here but yeah i'll be back okay so i have everything all set up here these are all like i said they're all configured and ready to bring stuff up i think uh that shelf over there isn't being used and then basically what I'm doing is I'm just gonna have the actual icon that's in the shelf you know uh, the spot here that tells you how much stuff is actually in there as part of the GUI or uh, our uh, display and the reason why I'm doing it that way and why I had to do it this way is because I actually want this to be able to take out stacks like individual stacks not have to take out a thousand of them like what's gonna happen there Okay, so now let's head back downstairs. I've put a bunch of uh, granite in here to start processing. So there we go. We have 
one point eight and thirty two. And then like the stone dust, like I said, that's gonna end up going through another industrial separator to get us our potassium. We'll get some sand, a little bit of iron, all this stuff, but that we need for uh the next tier actually, believe it or not. Okay, so I'm gonna take that out. Uh Actually, what I'm going to do. That's actually a good question. Let's uh, do this in the name of science. Oh, yeah, they're already on the bar. Will robotic arm, uh, filtering arms take out if they don't have a filter set? They do. Okay, so what did you grab? You grabbed the tungsten. Alright, well, you're going to be tungsten then. And then maybe aha maybe smart about this we place it on an angle we set it and then we rotate there we go so he's pulling stone he's pulling tungsten uh, yep yep And that's going to do its thing. At least it should. Let's pay attention. Tandem. Perfect. So that's going to just get us set up for the future. I will have to wrap this up significantly to work. Uh, other than that, I think that is it. I think I will have a clog-free system. Famous last words. Uh, actually, yeah, it will be clog-free because... If something goes in this chest that those arms aren't set for, let's say aluminum plates, they don't go anywhere. They stay there. But if I were to put, oh, let's put the granite in, and the granite starts to go. And same with everything else. So I can just go ahead and dump all of this in there. Even that. And as you can see, different arms are taking different things out. So I should have all four arms, all three arms running. Oh yeah, he doesn't have enough assault. Okay, why are you not taking the limestone? Simple answer to that. Uh, it didn't work like I thought it would. Oh. Was that the whole problem the whole time? I'm gonna find out what he gets down here. Okay, so yeah, it's gonna be in on red. I shouldn't have to worry about setting the other ones. Actually, I do. Out on pink and out on yellow. Uh, okay, you're set up. Okay, that's working. I wasn't sure if it was actually taking out of the junction or not. All right, well, so far, uh, we are working. It looks like it. A lot of big chunks of rock coming out of there. Uh, it's just so funny. Okay, so, yeah. Everybody's working. The only one that's not working is you, because you already did your job. All right, so... Uh, Let's go upstairs. I want to put all my stuff in a chest. Do a, I'm going to do a quick mining run. 
In other words, just dig a big, dig a big giant hole in the ground of random stuff and uh, see what I see how well this works. All right, I shall return. By the way, if you control double click, you can actually empty your inventory. It's a handy thing to know. But I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I took off to look for look for a little bit of copper, a little bit of aluminum, and now I'm just grabbing some little iron out of the backyard just because it's here. Why not? Right. And uh, there we go. And it's amazing how cluttered your inventory can get just from doing a little bit of mining. I'm trying to get rid of that stick. Uh, why don't you want to go? Thank you. Get away from me. Because <laughs> I don't have sticks set up in the system. Not that it matters. It's just sitting there. Sit in the chest anyways. Okay. So, uh, run up front here. Let's see what's left in the chest. Yeah, it's still working on some stuff, but that doesn't matter. Now, all I gotta do is everything but the wood and the stone goes in this chest. Uh, just like so. Takes care of it all for me. And then we go back here and look at that. We're already set up. We got some redstone going through already. A whopping point one. That's because not much. There wasn't any in there. The uh, dark stone is going up. And we have an issue. What's going on? Yes, what is going on? We have Boo Boo here. And on there. Might have to replace that with the chest. Let me do that. Okay, I figured out what was wrong. Yeah, I've got to set the input. That's not going to do anything because that's copper. I've got aluminum in here right now. Uh, you are aluminum, so if I set the pink to in. Oh yeah, and I guess everything else to out. So, yeah, it, it wasn't working unless this is set. The arms don't recognize it. So that means I could do the same thing with that. So that's going out. This is going to be in on red. And you're going to be in on green, out on yellow. Okay. So, yeah, it is working now. Because I was having the same problem down here. It was actually jamming up in here. That's why it wasn't going up the top until I realized that I had it set here. But it wasn't set in here. So everything should be working pretty good and look at that the dirt automatically goes through perfect and how are we doing here wow <laughs> mind you by the time we get to get to the hard battle stage that thing's gonna be full it says a lot doesn't it anyway let's go check our stock quickly and then we're gonna end this one here i don't realize we're going pretty long look at that thousand panels already sweet and there we go, 64 sand, 29 dirt, 0.1 redstone, 522 dark stone, that's empty, then there you got your organics, coal, and clay. Perfect, and the best thing is you don't, I don't have to fiddle around and mess around with my inventory when I go mining, like I said, I just put everything in a box, come over here and just do a control double click, dump everything in here, and just let the system take care of it. And I think that's going to be a good 
place to call it. Uh, I think between now and the next episode, I'll probably probably decorate this a little bit, fill it out. I might leave it an open concept like this, try to get the stairs coming around the corners, maybe do something with the back. And then the next episode, we're going to start dealing with the power situation. Uh, just because I, I noticed ever since I put the that third arc furnace in, uh, the power hasn't been doing the greatest. I also been having issues with um, <sighs> coke supply. Getting to these, uh, this one here has been struggling. Now it now it's got fuel for some reason this time. Didn't before. Everything seems to be working. Oh yeah, I know why there's coke. Because I haven't been making any steel. He <laughs> that's why. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking about doing is um, setting a big solar farm up on the on the roof. Uh, that's where the stainless is coming in. And then I want to possibly switch to two boilers underneath here. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, they're right over there. Switch those over to electric furnaces. And at the same time, to build a huge giant bank of batteries. Uh, probably going to stay with the aluminum for now because I believe, and I could be wrong, but I think that the molten salt batteries, which is the next tier up, which are these ones, I think they have to be heated to work. Not 100% sure. But anyways, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.